hi everyone welcome to study simplified in this video we are going to see the gate questions based on trigonometry complex number and many more concept so starting with the first gate question this was asked in production engineering 2017 gate paper the improper integral integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2t dt converges to what option a 0 option b 1 option c 0 0.5 or option d 2 Actually, this question is based on convergence and divergence concept and all these concepts are already explained in my previous videos. So make sure you are watching the previous videos, getting the knowledge first and then solving this questions. Okay. So basically convergence means the answer is finite. Yes, convergence means the answer is finite. Whereas divergence, divergence means the answer is infinite. Okay. This is the basic meaning. Make a note of it. So let us solve this integration. This is a definite integral because limits are given. Limits are 0 to infinite. So this is definite integral and we can solve this integration. Very simple. They are asking us, tell me what is integral e raised to minus a t dt. The answer is e raised to minus a t upon minus a because in integration always the coefficient are divided. In the differentiation they are multiplied but in integration they are divided. Using the same concept, you can see the simplification and because we are dealing with definite integrals, uh, we have to take care of limits. So instead of t, first we will place the upper limit. So it would be e raised to minus infinity. Then minus, we have to put the lower limit, which is 0. It would be e raised to 0. Now talking about e raised to minus infinity term, e raised to minus infinity is 1 upon e raised to infinity, which is 1 upon infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0. So make a note if you don't know how to simplify the things and yes you got the answer this term is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 so 0 minus 1 upon minus 2 the answer is 0 0.5 okay so answer is 0 0.5 which means option c is correct okay we can see the next question the next question is asked in chemical 2013 gate paper integral dx upon e raised to x minus 1 note c is the constant of integration in the option okay so option a we have e raised to x upon e raised to x minus 1 plus c or you can see option b c and d among this four option one is correct and you have to think how you will solve the integration because we do not have any standard result for this type of function you have to think there is some manipulation there is some technique which you have to follow to get the answer Okay, let us see the technique. The technique was simple because you have integral dx upon e raised to x minus 1 and you do not have the standard result for this kind of function. What you can do is multiply with e raised to minus x divide with e raised to minus x because if you do this uh, multiply divide technique, what will happen numerator will become e raised to minus x whereas denominator will be changed to e raised to minus x into e raised to x minus e raised to minus x right this term is completely 1 and this term is as it is you can see the changes in the denominator now we can think of substitution if i substitute 1 minus e raised to minus x is equal to d differentiate on both the side you will get e raised to minus x dx is equal to dt and everything is changed now your original function your original integral was in terms of x now your modified modified integration is in terms of t yes and the integration is very simple the denominator is changed to t and the numerator is changed to dt you can see the substitutions 1 minus e raised to minus x is equal to t and e raised to minus x dx is dt so final answer would be log t doing the resubstitution you will get the answer as log of 1 minus e raised to minus x plus c so basically you have to understand if i do straight away substitution here like e raised to x minus 1 uh, is, is equal to t let us say then e raised to x dx would be equal to dt and i don't know what to do with this term because my numerator is only dx so i hope you got the point why this uh, uh, function is tricky because straight away substitution was not working and because straight away the substitution was not working we have to do some manipulations and we manipulated the function okay so this is the manipulation where you have multiplied e raised to minus x and you have divided and after doing that you did the substitution and substitution worked here okay so this is substitution it worked because uh, if you put the denominator is equal to 0 the final answer on differentiation would be 
e raised to minus x dx is dt which is the numerator yes numerator can be changed to dt that was the benefit okay so manipulation was very important in this question okay let us see some more tricky question again this question is a tricky question asked in civil engineering 2017 set 2 paper i is equal to integral 0 to 1 sin inverse x the whole square upon root 1 minus x square dx value of integral is what we have four option among that one would be correct but you have to think now this question is based on definite integral and again we don't know the standard result like if i tell you what is integral dx you will say sir answer is x if i tell you integral e raised to ax dx you will say sir answer is e raised to ax upon a all these are the standard results which you know but you do not know the standard result for this kind of function and now you have to think how can i solve this question okay so when i look at the numerator part i can see one function which is sin inverse x and if i think of differentiation of sin inverse x it is 1 upon root 1 minus x square so if you if you can relate these two things my function is sin inverse x and its differentiation is here okay which is 1 upon root 1 minus x square i can think of substitution yes think of substitution and you will get the answer if i substitute sin inverse x is equal to t I can say that dx upon root 1 minus x square is equal to dt which means this dx and this root part is gone and now it is dt and sin inverse x is also gone it is t okay so now you can say I have successfully converted my function f of x into f of t and also dx into dt without any problem there was no problem while doing the conversion right from x to variable t but you have to take care of limits also this limits are for x variable yes the x variable is present in the original question the limits goes from 0 to 1 so when you are doing the conversion from x variable to the t variable then you have to take care of limits also that is the next step when your x is 0 then what is the value of t how you how you will get this it's simple when x is 0 you have to substitute this value in this equation sine inverse of 0 is equal to t and hence the limit of t would be 0 simple because sine inverse 0 is equal to sine inverse of sine 0 which is 0 and hence the value of t is also 0 similarly you can say that when x is equal to 1 substitute here the equation would be sine inverse 1 is equal to t which means sine inverse of sine pi by 2 is equal to t therefore t is equal to pi by 2 I hope you got the idea of limits how we are changing the limits and now you can say my integration is changed it is very simple it is easiest you can say simplest and the easiest simplest version integral 0 to pi by 2 t square dt the answer is t cube by 3 upper limit is pi by 2 lower limit is 0 so upper limit minus lower limit you will get the answer the answer is pi cube divided by 24. So pi cube by 24, I guess option A, yes, option A is correct. Okay, moving forward to the next gate question. This question is from Civil Engineering 2017, set 2 gate paper. Again, an important question, mark this question. Let x be a continuous variable defined over the integral minus infinity comma infinity and f of x is equal to e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x the integral g of x is equal to integral f of x dx would be equal to what we have four option so basically we have a function f of x and we have to find g of x which is integral f of x make a note this integration is indefinite integral yes this integration is indefinite integral which means your answer won't be a constant your answer would be in terms of x this is very important the concept is whenever you have indefinite integral limits are not present and hence the answer is in terms of the variable here it would be in terms of x when you are dealing with the definite integrals you have limits and hence your answer is constant this is the important note which is uh, different uh, difference between the indefinite and definite integral okay let us solve the integration integral f of x would be integral e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x dx but you cannot solve the integration directly do you know the result okay you don't know the result right so you have to think how i can simplify my integration and get the final answer what i can think of is uh, doing the substitution but substitution directly won't work here right the power is minus x minus e raised to minus x 
So I can split these two things, right? Uh, I know e raised to a plus b can be splitted as e raised to a into sorry, this is e e raised to a into e raised to b. Yes, this is my formula. I can apply this concept here and I can split the function integral e raised to minus x into e raised to minus e raised to minus x dx. Now think from this part, you have to think how uh, how you will solve the question. What should be your approach? So if you are thinking of substitution, yes, you are right, because if I substitute this term e raised to minus x as t, I can say differentiating on both the side e raised to minus x dx is minus dt. Yes, so I have I have converted this e raised to minus x dx, which is equal to minus dt and also this e raised to minus x as t. I hope you got the substitution. If I do the substitution, everything is substituted perfectly. There is no problem, no confusion and this should be t. Okay, so dx is converted into dt and also f of x is converted into f of t. There are no terms left which will create a problem, which means your substitution is right. So integral e raised to minus t into minus 1 dt, you have to solve the integration which would be minus e raised to minus t upon minus 1. Please do not miss this term. Whenever you are dealing with integral, you have to take care that you are dividing the coefficient and minus 1 was the coefficient in the power. You can see minus 1. I have divided that term. Okay, so final answer is 0 to minus t, but this is not the final answer. This is partial answer. You have to do the resubstitution. Yes, resubstitution basically means whatever you have substituted uh, x in terms of t, do the resubstitution. What I have substituted e raised to minus x is equal to t. So now in the resubstitution, t would be substituted as e raised to minus x and this is my final answer. Okay, make a note. The final answer is e raised to minus e raised to minus x and if I go to the option, option c is absolutely correct. So up till now we have seen the question on definite integral. Then we have seen the question on indefinite integral. While solving the questions, we have dealt with many concepts like uh, convergence, divergence. We have dealt with the concepts of substitution technique, how to substitute effectively and some of the tricky question. Moving forward to the next concept, which is complex number question. Yes, complex number means iota. You should remember i would be represented as minus 1 which is iota and you should also know some of the basics of complex number. Again, I will say do watch my previous videos of complex number to solve the question. This question was asked in civil engineering 2015 set to gate paper given i is equal to root minus 1 the value of i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x plus i sin x upon cos x minus i sin x dx is what? Option A 1, option B minus 1, option C i or option D minus i. We have four options among that one would be correct. When you look at this cos plus i sine term, you should remember the basics of complex variable. e raised to i theta can be written as cos theta plus i sine theta. Similarly, e raised to minus i theta can be written as cos theta minus i sin theta. These are the basics of complex number. I hope you remember because in the lower standards we have studied them. Yes, using the same concept, if we do the resubstitution instead of cos x plus i sin x, if I write it in terms of exponent, complex exponential, which is e raised to i theta format, then I can simply say that my numerator is now changed to e raised to i theta and denominator is changed to e raised to minus i theta. I can take this denominator in the numerator, it would be e raised to i theta into e raised to i theta, which is e raised to 2i theta. Okay, so my integral e raised to 2i theta, which means integral e raised to 2i x because we are dealing with the variable x, right? So the integration answer would be e raised to 2i x upon 2i, but because uh, we have definite integrals, take care of limits. So you will get 1 upon 2i e raised to i pi minus e raised to 0. e raised to 0 is 1, but what about e raised to i pi? You have to do the expansion cos pi plus i sin pi and cos pi is minus 1 whereas i sin pi this is 0. Remember that sin of pi is 0 but sin of pi by 2 is 1. Yes, this is the basics of sin and yes you are getting the answer that minus 1 
minus 1 will make it as minus 2 so this is minus 2 this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out the final answer is minus 1 over i minus 1 over i is my final answer but we do not have any option which suggests that minus 1 uh, minus 1 over i is the answer right we do not have any option so what to do so now you might be thinking whatever you have solved is wrong actually you are you have solved it correctly but your answer is partially right because the options are manipulated this means you have to do something here to get your answer what you can do is i can multiply divide with i if i do that i will get minus i upon i into i which is minus i upon i square where an i square is minus one so final answer is i which is option c so always remember if you are not getting the final answer this means you have reached the a half answer or partially correct answer you need some of these steps to reach at the final answer i hope you like the video all these concepts tricks and techniques are important for gate examination because in gate examination you have to solve more question in less time all these techniques tricks and concepts you will find in my engineering mathematics notes so if you want to buy the notes uh, the contact and the email id are on the screens now तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट